So, today, we're going to be building a new computer. So, my last one, it was, well, I mean, it was the best I could do at the time, but it just can't, it just can't really run games, okay? It can't run GTA, and it can't run a lot of the big AAA games anymore. It just, it just can't handle it. So, today, we're going to be building a new computer, um, and yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, let's go over the part list real quick. Um... I'm gonna have some B-roll that y'all be able to watch while I go over this. So, to start off, we're gonna have our Ryzen 5 3600 six-core processor. I think it's a great budget option, especially for gaming. Um, then we have our Thermal Ripe Frozen um, ARGB liquid CPU cooler. Um, so you'll see that on like the top of the case um, whenever we do our B-roll. Uh, see here, we have the MSI Pro B55 ATX motherboard, Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro uh, 32 gig set. <clears throat> I thought 32 gigs was more than enough, but at the price, I mean, you can't beat it. It's like $89 for 32 gigs. And I promise you, whenever I built my first computer, 39 or $32 for this set right here, or 89, I'm messing up over here. Okay, so for a 32 gig set at $89, it's just, it's just a great deal. Basically, back in the day, would have been way over 100. Yeah. So, and I love how it looks. I think it's like my favorite set of RAM. Um, I like it more than like the Kingstons. Anyways, yeah. So, then we have a one terabyte SSD. Um, we have our RTX 4060 from Zotac. Uh, and then we have our PC case, which I found on Amazon. Came with all nine of the RGB fans. Not as adjustable as like like the um, like the Corsair, uh, what is it, LL? The 120s? Those are the ones I really want, and I think we might be doing an upgrade video where we do those in it, and then um, the new power supply. And then the old power supply, which was the MSI MPG A650 GF 650 watt, 80 plus gold certified, fully modular ATX power supply, which honestly looked great, but you know, we're here, and I told y'all what happened about the other one. Or maybe I didn't. Maybe you haven't gotten to that part yet. But basically, the other one died. So, yeah. But we have a replacement. We have a holder one in there for now. So, it'll be fine. But, yeah. So, I hope you enjoy the video. I have had a lot of fun making it. I mean, it was super fun. I love building computers. And hopefully, we'll be able to build a couple more. I really want to do, like, a, a really cheap one. Like, a really cheap, like, $150 budget option. Just to show you, like, what's out there. Like, the capabilities of computer, like, building and stuff. You really don't need to spend a lot of money on like a decent PC to run like um, like just normal like GTA and stuff. I think I even could have spent less money on my previous build and got more performance out of it. But of course, I just wanted it to look nice. So kind of prioritize aesthetics over uh, performance. But I think in this one, it's a good balance. So yeah, hope you enjoy the video and I'll see y'all.
So now it's all done. I went ahead and ran a couple sitting bench um, stress tests on it, and I'll have those results up on the screen. I uh, did pretty well, um, and overall, I think the PC came out great. I played a couple games, but only on CSGO and Black Ops 4, which Black Ops 4 looked amazing, and CSGO obviously looked fine. Uh, but it played a whole lot smoother. Like, you like my last PC before, just I mean, even CSGO, it was still struggling with that. But this one obviously kills it, and yeah, so PC came out great. I love it, and um, I yeah, I look forward to just playing on it, just gaming on it. So I'll keep y'all updated on it, and whenever we do the upgrade with the new power supply, because um, what ended up happening. Um, as you can tell in some of the b-roll clips is we had to replace it with my old one because the last one kind of died so I had turned it on and I was downloading COD I had already downloaded a bunch of other stuff and did the Cinnabar or Cinnab did the Cinnabench stress test and um, it worked fine and then I was downloading COD and it shut off wouldn't turn back on it would just flash um, and so I unhooked everything and put in the old power supply from all computer and it worked fine so we're just uh we shall wait for the new one i'm gonna get a new 750 watt uh, power supply and it should run it fine um, and then i want to get those new fans but we'll see and then i think in the next video i think i want to do a, a, a couple different budgets and do a couple different pc part outs on um, pc part picker at amazon um, and just show you like the different options there are when it comes to building a PC um, there's so many and it can get confusing so yeah but that's pretty much it I appreciate everyone watching see you later